So here is uh, young Bruno, uh, some emergency repairs, a couple of suspension problems. And it's uh, lost about 30 seconds, as you can hear him saying. Wild, the boy. Well, unlike Group A, the title in Group N has not yet been decided, and uh, Mark Timmers is so close, but uh, right behind him in the points, uh, Jean-Marie Millicent no, no, van der Voa is uh, also going to be out there in Group N. Van der Voa's uh, co-driver has also got a bone to pick with. Those three, Timmers, Millicent and de Voa, are going to be battling it out. No love lost, it should be interesting. Timmers gets uh, a pretty good start in the rally. And he gets his Mitsubishi uh, into fourth position. He's behind, that's fourth position overall, right? He's behind Snyers, Duez, and Verid, but uh, just in front of Bruno Thierry. And the muddy ground, of course, absolutely perfect for the four wheel drive uh, Mitsubishi. On the other hand, everything is going badly for Jean Marie Millison, who had to uh, give up after the very first special stage because he smashed his gearbox on the Ford. Not happy, is it? But we've still got the battle between Van der Vaar and Mark Timmers. Eric Bachelard is a big surprise in this uh, event. He's the new US uh, Indy Lights champion, the uh, American Formula 3000, and uh, this is the first time he's been in this rally. Unfortunately, the first uh, time stage, everything went very wrong with him. And he had a lot of troubles to cope with. By the end of the day, he had to withdraw. This is Swiss champion Philippe uh, Camandona in a, an RAS Sport prepared uh, Ford Sierra. Going well. Camandona uh, discovered the Condros Rally a couple of years ago. Well, mind you, he's got a Belgian co pilot, uh, Roger Jamou, who helps things along a bit. Bernard Munster has got a lot of problems. He's a great driver, but he had to give up on, on Saturday. He had to retry. On a perdu une minute à peu près. Et puis après, on a eu beaucoup de problèmes d'amortisseur. On a su qu'on remplaçait, mais qu'il cassait. Il cassait pas, mais il grippait. Mais finalement, quand on a trouvé la solution, ça a tellement. Anyway, look, the rain came down as we entered the second stage on the Saturday afternoon, and that did two things. It made the stages and the roads very, very slippery. It was icy as well in places, and it kept the crowds away too. So certainly favouring the four-wheel drive. And uh, the driver from. Well, he's just going to keep up the pressure and uh, hope that something busts up front, basically. There's a funny little uh, battle taking place on Sunday for the head of Group N. And we've got Guy Coulson leading uh, the Group N, and he's placed overall fourth behind Snyers, Verrett and Duez. Uh, he's first in Group N, so it's a good performance. Mitsubishi are having a very good event with Timmers, Noir and Coulson are going well as well. This is Yves uh, Maton. He's uh, offering some strong opposition to Guy Coulson. Maton feels very much at home in Hui and knows uh, all of the time stages very well indeed. And he drives uh, his 4x4. Here he is, look. Sierra. He even takes the lead at uh, one stage because he knows the road so well. But unfortunately, he got a puncture. And uh, you never know, he may have even uh, won if he'd had a bit more luck. But uh, Kuberbergs 
is uh, creating a bit of a sensation here. He did very, very well in the Wallonia rally, and he's uh, repeating that. Hardly any problems, no mechanical problems, and he's in sixth position. Uh, and that leaves him third in Group N. We just love the conditions here. Here's the driver, and just in front of the Danish driver, uh, Svanholt, in his Golf GTI, who's placed 14th. This is Michel Lizard. He's very much at home on the Condras. He's a journalist, actually, who specializes uh, in the World Rally Championship, and he likes to come here at the end of the rally season and uh, give it a bit of welly around the home area of Rui. And he did very well here a couple of years ago in an Integrale, and everyone remembers that. And he was going to try and drive a Toyota in the event this year, but one wasn't forthcoming. And in the end, Bruno Thierry managed to get him this Opel Cadet. And he ended the event in 10th position, just 20 minutes away from the winner, so that's not too bad, is it? Here's Mark Timmers. He, he had problems with his turbo throughout. It cost him four and a half minutes. Ça se passe bien, on essaye de faire des temps scratch parce que <coughs> on n'a rien d'autre à faire parce qu'on est quand même uh, quatre minutes derrière tout le monde avec les six minutes. This is what he's saying. He's four and a half minutes uh, behind the world, <laughs> behind everybody else, and so he hasn't uh, got a chance of winning. But he goes out there and does a good job entertaining the crowd. The crowd love him anyway. And he's uh, not satisfied, the boy, in ending up uh, in the top three. And in fact, he pushes so hard that uh, on just one corner before the finishing line, he uh, drove the car right off the road. It's a little bit silly. I'm not sure whether that's uh, to be praised or not, really. Better ask his team. Anyway, here's Patrick Snyers. Leading the race, and all of his times well in front of Breno Verrett and Mark Duez in the Toyota Celica GT4. Snyers wins 22. Uh, oui, mais uh, je n'espère pas. J'espère toujours faire un, un petit rallye, un de ces quatre, mais il uh, n'y a rien qui est prévu.